Yo, what is going on guys? My name is Mewtwo Fan Nate, and welcome to my draft analysis for the PGL Season 4. Um, PGL stands for Pokemon Global League, and I'm going to be your coach for the New York Nor <laughs> New York Noiverns. So if you guys are going to be rocking with us this season, go ahead and boom burst that like button for me. I'd really, really appreciate it. And uh, yeah, that'd be it. That's going to be my intro, actually, for like the entire like season. Like, I like, I've been waiting to say that. Like, you guys have no idea. Like, I came up with the idea of like Noiverns and like boom burst and the like button. Like, you I was so proud of myself, guys. Like, you guys have no idea. Uh, so anyway, uh, <laughs> yeah, um, in the PGL, you're allowed an S rank Pokemon. So uh, during the beginning of the draft, uh, a lot of people they were talking about Eveltal, and they're saying, "Oh my God, it's scary! Oh, whoever drafts that, it's gonna be so such a pain in the ass to face it." And I was like, "Yeah, man, let's, we should just make a pact and like no one should draft it." And I was just using like the reverse psychology, so I can go ahead and grab it, which I did, and I'm actually really happy that I did. And um, what I, uh, I'm actually going to change my nickname because I actually named this uh, Akatsuki, um, Akatsuki, which is Akatsuki. Uh, I'm not sure if you actually can see my girlfriend in the back. She's right there. Um, anyway, um, so yeah, uh, we have uh, Akatsuki here, the uh, Evolutal, and you guys can see its uh, its stats uh, right over here. Uh, it's it's got a really nice move pool too, and I mean, if you look at its stats, like you you there's no like like you guys know why it's an Uber. <laughs> it's we have 126 base HP, 131 in attack, 131 in special attack, 95 in defense. 98 in special defense uh, and 99 speed so we're not quite breaking the 100 uh, speed here yet but I mean it's all right because I mean we have uh, we have options in our move pools so um, we, we have the uh, dark aura uh, ability which basically uh, you know it powers up our uh, dark type moves which is nice because they're also stabbed so it's like giving like a life orb to this thing on dark type moves without like even like holding a life orb so that's kind of powerful um, it is powerful. Uh, it's move pull. It's really nice. Dark pulse, dragon. Uh, we have dragon claw. Not sure if I'd really use that. Disable, uh, focus blast, foul play, heat wave, frustration. Uh, I mean, you can run really any hidden powers. You have hurricane. Uh, hyper voice is nice too because people might want to set up subs on me because uh, sucker punch is a thing for me. So a lot of people that like to you know throw on you know substitute and you know oh you know then, then my sucker punch would fail obviously so that's why maybe occasionally I'd pack hy hyper voice goes through subs. That's that's an option. Uh, we have knock off which is really nice because uh, I mean knock off is just one of the best moves in the game. Uh, Oblivion Wing is a uh, nice signature move from Evolto. 75% of the damage that is dealt, uh, I recover that HP. So that's that's nice. Um, Psychic, Rock Slide, uh, Shadow Ball, Shadow Claw, uh, Sucker Punch, Tailwind, uh, Toxic, U-Turn. I like the U-Turn initiative as well. That's nice because you can run a whole bunch of different sets. You can run like an Assault Vest on this thing. You could run... Uh, choice scarf. You can run lefties. Uh, you could run uh, black glasses. I think uh, life orb as well. Rocky helmet. There's so many different things that you can do with this Pokemon, which makes it really good. Uh, so my basically my plan for this draft. Like I mean, you guys can see my other mons like over here. You can kind of see that I have like a a semi rain team going on from like my first uh, six picks. Uh, but I mean, we're gonna get into that. So my next pick was actually Mega Swamper. Um, Obviously, when uh, Swampert Mega Evolves, it gets the ability Swift Swim, which doubles the speed in the rain. So if I am uh, in the rain, you know, my speed, uh, which is base 70, which is uh, very... It's not the fastest, but it's not, like, incredibly slow as well. I mean, that that's... So that, that doubles, and then I become, like, super fast. Um, the stats on Mega Swampert are crazy. 100 base, uh, 100, 100 base HP, 150 attack... 110 defense, 95 special attack, 110 special defense, and then 70 speed, like we just said. Uh, I like Swamper because it has uh, a really nice move pull, and I like the the fact that it can go either. Uh, it has so many different options with its sets. Like it can go like uh, physically offensive. It can go like 
uh, especially offensive. It can go like defensive, and like, and it just has so many different sets. Um, like you guys can see, like all the moves down here. Like we have Earth Power. If we want to go special, we can have Earthquake. Uh, we have uh, Focus Blast. We have Hammer Arm. Uh, there's Hydro Pump, Ice Beam, Ice Punch, Low Kick, Power Up Punch. It has Roar, so if I want to set up Stealth Rocks with this thing, I can do that, and then I can uh, phase it out with uh, Roars. I have Skull for burning things, Sludge Wave, um, Super Power. I can Toxic Stall with this thing. Um, there's a lot of different things I can do. Oh my god, this thing has Dynamic Punch? Jesus Christ. That's crazy. Um... See, I'm just going through the other moves that it has. It I have Iron Tail. That's crazy. Mud Bomb, Muddy Water. I have Refresh, which is really nice too. Because I mean, if I get status, I can uh, use Refresh. Like uh, a lot of people like to burn Mega Swamper. I just use Refresh. So I get rid of that burn. Um, let's see. Is there anything else? Uh, it gets Yawn too, which is another cool thing. Uh, which is nice for, you know, like, if I want to run that phasing set with, like, Roar and Stealth Rocks, I could just throw on Yawn on there, and I can put things to sleep, too, which is kind of cool. Um, we have um, Ferrothorn, which is next, which actually pairs up very nicely with um, Mega Swampert. Uh, because Mega Swampert is four times weak to grass, um, I have Ferrothorn, I drafted Ferrothorn, because Ferrothorn resists grass times four, so it's, you, you see the synergy going on there, right guys, like, I'm, like, my draft isn't that bad, um, so Ferrothorn, I like Ferrothorn a lot, because if we look at its stats, it's bulky as hell, look at these defense stats, I mean, its HP is like kind of mediocre at 74, uh, it has a really nice attack stat with 94, but its defense is 131, uh, it's, I mean, special attack, no one really uses this as a special attack, it's kind of booty, uh, and then its special defense is 116, so the defenses on this thing are really, like, really strong, uh, and, and honestly, no one really cares about the speed, because usually it, it runs moves like Gyro Ball, which, um, you know, rely on its lower speed to increase its power, so that's, it's not, like, I'm not worried about that. Um, we're, now we can go kind of into the moves, I mean, obviously it has, um, Iron Barbs, which really goes nice with uh, a Rocky Helmet, um, you know, for, you know, being a physical wall. But let's look at this move pool. I mean, we have Acid Spray, which is nice, because it, it really, like, helps, uh, you know, force switches, because it lowers the uh, opponent's of, uh, special defense by two. So, I mean, that's good. So I can set up hazards, and I can uh, use Acid Spray to force switches, because no one really wants to keep staying in when their special defense keeps going down. Uh, it's, I think that's kind of co a cool uh, strategy that I might use this season. We have Explosion if I just want to kill myself and just completely annihilate whatever is on the other side. I'd, I'd kill myself. Why? Because it's a strategy. Oh. Um, it has Iron Head, Knock Off, Leech Seed, Power Whip. Um, we have Shadow Claw. We have, uh, like I was saying, uh, Stealth Rock. This thing even has uh, Swords Dance, which is really nice. Um, we have Thunder Wave, which is nice because, I mean, my draft isn't the fastest one out there. Um, and then we have other moves like Curse, which is really nice because I can, uh, you know, Curse Sweep. I have uh, really, like, a lot of options with this thing. And that, I think that's about it for, for Ferrothorn, so I think we can move on to the next one. And to be honest, when I was going through this draft, I was really scared about uh, my my weaknesses, because I was like, wow, uh, Mega Swampert is four times weak to grass. And I'm like, really, I'm like, man, I, now I just drafted Ferrothorn, which is four times weak to uh, to fire. I mean, yeah, four times weak to fire, so I was like, all right, I need to, pa I need to patch this up even more. So I drafted Gudra because Gudra it resists fire. We have the ability Sap Zipper, um, which makes it completely immune to grass type attacks, and it actually gives it uh, an attack boost when it hit by a grass type move. Um, and now, if we're going into the uh, the stats of Gudra, which we're gonna do right now, uh, it's it has an insane special defense. That's like the first thing that pops out uh, when you know when anybody takes a look at uh, Gudra. Its uh, special defense is 150. Uh, speed is not too bad with 80, um, special attack 110, defense 
it's kind of mediocre at 70. Um, and then its attack is 100, and its HP stat is 90, base 90. Um, the thing that's nice about Gudra is that we have really good abilities. Uh, Sap Sipper, Hydration, um, and Gooey. So Gooey, you know, if, some, if like someone hits me with a physical type move, then their speed gets lowered by one stage, which is nice. I like that I have Hydration because obviously I'm rocking with the semi-rain team right now, and I can use that in the rain. If I want to use like Acid Armor and uh, Rest, I can do that. If I want to run Curse and Rest, I can do that. Um, so I rest up, and then I wake Im immediately back up because I cure my uh, my status condition. So, um... The thing that's really nice about uh, Gudra is that it runs a lot of items really well with the Assault Vest, uh, Scarf, Band, Specs, uh, Leftovers. Um, I, I probably wouldn't run Rocky Helmet on it, but I mean, we have a lot of options with the items and as well as the move pools and the sets that we could do. Like, uh, look at this move pool. Alright, we have uh, Aqua Tail, we have Blizzard, uh, I probably wouldn't use Body Slam, Draco Meteor, Dragon Pulse, Dragon Tail for phasing. Um, earthquake, facade, fire blast, fire punch, flamethrower, focus blast, and all the hidden powers. Ice beam, outrage, power whip, uh, sludge bomb. It gets sludge wave too. I know that. Uh, superpower, thunderbolt, thunder, uh, thun thunder, thunderbolt, thunder punch, toxic, um, acid armor, bulldoze. We have. Let's see. What else down here that like saying that we usually don't use. We have in Infestation. I really like Infestation. That's a really cool move. Iron Tail, Poison Tail. Uh, we have, let's see, what else, what else, what else? Water Pulse. There is another move that I could have sworn that I wanted to mention, but I, I probably already mentioned it and just didn't realize it. Okay, so I mean, that's about it, but I mean, with these stats, I mean, I can go either way, and it makes me really unpredictable for, you know, like, all you know for the week like depending on like each week someone's gonna have to prepare what kind of Gudra am I gonna be if and if you and if I'm even gonna be bringing Gudra am I gonna be bringing Gudra that's running like Draco Meteor am I gonna be bringing Outrage am I gonna be bringing Power Whip am I gonna be um especially defensive with like an Assault Vest am I gonna be running uh Rest with Hydration am I gonna be running Gooey like there's so many there's just so much preparation for a Pokemon uh, you know that it, it it's it's good for me. That's, that's that's all I really wanted to say. Is it good for you? It's it's extremely good. Yeah. Now we have uh, Politoed, and I think I drafted this one a little bit too early. Um, I'm actually I actually put I'm actually putting the Pokemon in order from left to right in which I drafted them. So um, let me and I should go back and I'm gonna put the nicknames in. So this one is Bench Press. I uh, mean like. Sure, this one is I'm um, so thorny. Because it has iron barbs. This one is dish soap. Uh, this is that dank. Okay, so we're just going to just leave it like that. So, obviously you guys know why I drafted Politoed. Because he makes it rain. And uh, a rain setter is really nice. Uh, especially for you know, what you guys see in my draft so far. And immediately, like, when I drafted, like, Eveltol, I, I automatically knew that I wanted Swampert next, and I really wanted to have a semi-rain team. Um, the thing that's nice about Eveltol is that it has Hurricane, which is 100% um, accurate in the rain. And it has the 30% chance to confuse, too. And uh, 110, uh, you know, base power is a lot stronger than Oblivion Wing. Uh, and... In the rain, it's you know 100% accurate, so it would it just is guaranteed to like break through walls like 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 no kidding like not like this is not a joke guys like Volto is gonna be seriously scary in the rain with uh, Hurricane. We have um so with Politoed it supports the rest of my team. It obviously Swampert because of Swift Swim. Then we have Ferrothorn who's uh. Four times weak to the two fire type attacks. Then we have uh, Gudra, which is um, gets the hydration and also gets moves like Aqua Tail and Muddy Water. That you know that's good for it. So I mean, there's a lot of different things that are you know that's nice about 
Politoed, which with the rain. And Politoed itself is not like a, a horrible mon itself. Like, I mean, it's it's its stats like are. I mean, they're a little bit uh, subpar. They're not as like you know, they're not as like crazy. You know, like some of my other mons that I have. But Politoed is gonna play like a really like important role on the team. Uh, I mean, it's not gonna be something that I'm bringing like every single week. But you know, when I'm when I do decide to bring rain, it can it can really do work. I mean, it's it's not like it's like a frail mon. I mean, base 90 HP and 100 special defense, um, 90 special attack in the rain, scalds, hydro pumps, those are gonna hurt. Um, I I can run like uh, defensive with scald and just burn things. Uh, and its physical move pool is kind of, like, I have options to, like, run physical, uh, I mean, Politoed, but, I mean, special attack is just way, it's, like, it's a lot higher, so I probably wouldn't run physical, but it has uh, access to Belly Drum, which is something, I mean, that I can always consider for, like, last week shenanigans, like, if I know that I'm, like, not making it into the playoffs and I just want to have fun, then that's something I might bring, just, you know. So, uh, anyway... Let's see, we have uh, Encore on this thing too, which is really nice. We have Ice Beam, Hydro Pump, Scald, obviously. Uh, Protect on all mons. We have Psychic, which is cool. Surf, Toxic. Let's see, anything else that really calls out to me? Let's see. Hypnosis. Oh, not really accurate though, but still cool. Um, Icy Wind, which is something that I was using in, uh, in VGC. It's something, I, that's a move that I really like, because it would slow them down. Um, uh, let's see. I'm trying to see, is there any other moves that, like, really are calling out to me? Not really. Yeah, so I guess that's it for, uh, for Polytoad. But I like I like the possibilities. I mean, it's 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 still like uh, has a decent speed tier where I can run Scarf Toad or I can run AV Toad or Specs or something. So I mean, it's not bad. All right. So the next Pokemon that I drafted was Togetic, and Togetic has a really cool uh, ability called Serene Grace, which is I mean, you guys all know it as the uh, the hacks ability where you know it doubles the uh, second uh, dairy effects of um of moves. Like, for example, if I want to go for Ancient Power, 10% chance to raise all my stats by 1, it turns to 20%. Body Slam, instead of 30% 30 30 chance to paralyze, it's 60% chance to paralyze. Things like that. It, this uh, Togetic also, I mean, obviously it's going to be running the almost the Eviolite almost every week. So, if we're looking at its stats, uh, the, its defense stats of 85 and 105, those are going to be raised by 50% and it becomes extremely bulky especially uh, because it has roost and uh, another thing that I really like about this uh, this mon is that it has a uh, baton pass so if I want I can even set up a nasty plot and I could baton pass so that's an option that I have with Togetic. Um, obviously, I have the option for Defog, which is what I really drafted it for because I didn't have a fairy type and I needed a Defogger. And um, it has, you know, some really cool moves, you know, with Fire Blast, Flamethrower for coverage, as well as Heal Bell for uh, for cleric uh, for cleric usage. We have a Light Screen, um, Psychic. Uh, size shock, um, seismic toss, tailwind. I really like the fact that it has tailwind and uh, thunder wave, toxic. I, I really like the uh, the abilities that you know uh, the things that I can do with that. Not its abilities, but the ability to have a whole bunch of different status conditions and stuff like that. I like that it's also a wish passer. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, is there anything else that I was uh, that I was interested in with it? Uh, I I also like that it had a uh, what's it called? It's the psycho shift. That's the thing. Usually, you know, with a wall, sometimes you try to toxic it. Um, if I'm predicting to get toxic or you know thunder waved or something, I can just go psycho shift, and I can uh, I can transfer that status that someone gave me onto someone else. So I like that um, a lot. 
I saw Wolfie do it in VGC. I mean, it's a completely different thing because, I mean, VGC and stuff. But, I mean, yeah, you get the point. Water Pulse is nice because, I mean, um, it's a water-type move that has the chance to uh, confuse a target that gets boosted to 40%. Um, we have Yawn to put things to sleep. So there's a lot of options with Togetic. I, I like that it's a... I really liked it because it's a... It's a Defogger, and we have Baton Pass and things like that. So that's basically why I picked it. It's also a really bulky fairy type. So I really like that pick a lot. Um, also, I named this, uh, I think, Rotten Eggs, I think. Rotten Eggs. Okay, so we're going to go on to the, um, the next one, which is this right here. Okay, so uh, the next mod that I drafted was Meloetta, and the reason why I drafted Meloetta is because I was really debating, I was like, oh man, I need a Psychic type, oh man, I need a Fighting type, oh, what do I go with, what do I go with, do I go, do I choose Alakazam, do I choose Min Minshaw, or Minshaw, however you want to say that, and I was just really debating, I was like, man, my team is kind of slow, I don't have anything that's like uh, over base, like 100, oh my god, I'm gonna, like, I'm just, I'm gonna have a slow draft, and everything's gonna outspeed me and kill me. And I was just really, I was really freaking out. So I was like, oh, wow, I can just draft Meloetta because uh, it has a cool form, which is called uh, the Pirouette form. I'm not sure if I could pull that up. Can I do that? I don't know if I can do it on here. Meloetta. Is it going to show the Pirouette form? I don't know if I can pull that up. I'm going to try to do that. I don't know if I can do it. Let's see. If I delete it, and then if I go to add Pokemon, and I click Meloetta. There. So, um, yeah, so, all right, all right. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to go, let's see here. And so you guys can see the uh, Meloet Pirouette form, which has uh, 100 HP, 128 uh, attack, 90 defense, 77 special attack, 77 uh, special defense, and 128 speed. So basically what that means is I have a really fast, hard-hitting fighting type, but the, the catch to that is I'd have to run uh, Relic Song which is a normal type special move which has um, because of my steering brace ability has 20% chance to put my opponent to sleep um, so originally uh, what Meloetta has is if I delete this and I go back to Meloetta and I go to my pirouette form uh, the the stats are switched around so it's a little bit slower but my special defense and my special attack is a lot higher, which means I can run this like a really bulk, really bulky, specially defensive Pokemon, and I can run it uh, really specially offensive, uh, more so than physically, uh, you know, oriented, which gives, a, which makes it really a lot, which makes it harder for people to uh, prep for, because I, they don't know if I'm going to be running. Something that's going to be a little bit more slower and like a lot bulkier on the special side, or something that's going to be really like a f like a really fast, hard-hitting physical attacker. So it basically it's like two Pokemon in one in a sense, but like not really. Uh, its coverage is really it's really nice. Calm Mind after a Calm Mind, like just forget it. Meloetta is is like a threat. It really is. It has dazzling gleam for coverage. Uh, also, let's not forget the the typing of it because it's a um. Let me see if I can pull... I don't know if I can show the typing on it. Can I show the typing? I don't think so. Well, anyway, it's a normal psychic uh, type, which means it's immune to ghosts. So the only thing that's really, like, super effective against it is, like, dark type moves. So it really only has, like, one weakness, which is which is good. Uh, unless I'm missing, no, I think bug. I think bug is all. I think it's also weak to bug. It could be. I think I'm missing that one. There might be more, but that's th those are the only two I can think of off the top of my head. So I mean, when it's in its pirouette form, we have a lot of like nice physical move pool to choose from, like close combat, uh, drain punch, facade, fire punch. I'm, and then when it's in its like uh, area form, 
Uh, we have like Energy Ball, we have Focus Blast, uh, we have Grass Knot, Heal Bell for if I want to run it as a Cleric, Hyper Voice, which is nice, powerful stab, uh, Knock Off. If I even if I'm running the area form, I mean it's nice for having some like uh, some support. We have um, Quick Attack too, which is it's it's nice because in uh, its pirouette form, 128 physical attack, and then uh, Quick Attack gets priority plus its stab, so it's going to hit a lot harder than you would think. Shadow Ball, Shadow Claw. I mean, look at look at all this. I mean, Thunderbolt um, and Thunder. I mean, in ra in rain, that's going to be 60% uh, for paralyzing things, 100% accurate. So that's really cool. Uh, we have U-turn for initiatives and headbutt. Um, we also have uh, things like let's see. Um, if I want to run like last resort on the uh, on the other one, I mean, I could do things like that too. Um, I don't think I'd ever run Skill Swap. Teeter Dance is nice because I can confuse the other Pokemon. Um, Work Up is nice too. That's a nice uh, setup move. And I think that's about it for Meloet. I the basically the points I really wanted to make with Meloet is that it's very versatile. Um, with its you know two different forms, and the uh, Serene Grace is really cool and fun to mess around with especially you know move pull and coverage and stuff so the next pokemon i drafted was raichu and the reason why i drafted raichu is because my team was very weak to electric type attacks um basically the only thing that i really had that was switching into electric type attacks was swampert but i mean swampert they could just pack on like in power um they could just pack on like hidden power grass or something and then they would totally just uh, you know, be able to destroy my Swampert. So I couldn't, I couldn't just, uh, have something that, you know, I just couldn't be Volt Switched on, like, you know, and everyone can just get initiative on me and things like that. So I drafted Raichu because it's a fast electric type with lightning rod, so I'm immune to, um, to electric type attacks. Plus I get, I'd get the uh, special attack boost if I'm hit with an electric type attack. Um, I like its, uh, I kind of like its physical move pool a little bit better, but I mean, it has... The stats, uh, let's see, if I go over here, uh, it's, it's physical and special attack are identical at base 90, it's HP and it's defense, I mean, it's not really supposed to be used as a physical wall anyway, so I mean, they're, that's fine. It has decent special defense with, uh, with base 80, and it's really fast with 110 base speed. But let's take a look at his move pool. Uh, I mean, Discharge, uh, Encore is really nice, Extreme Speed, which is amazing because it's plus two priority we have fake out uh which is nice for scouting because usually if you click fake out first and you know on the first turn you can immediately tell like what kind of set this person might be running if if you fake out and it does like a shit ton of damage you know that they're not really defensive or if you uh hit fake out and all of a sudden you're you're breaking sashes you're can, you can see if they're leftovers you can see if they're rocky helmet um Another thing that's nice about it is it has Focus Blast, it has Grass Knot, you can run Hidden Powers on here, uh, it has Knock Off, Nuzzle, Light Screen, Na it has Nasty Plot for setup, um, it has Signal Beam, sub every, I mean every Pokemon gets Substitute, uh, it has Surf too for ground types, uh, we're, we have Thunder, Thunderbolt, uh, T-Wave, we have Volt Switch, we have Volt Tackle, um, which is which is amazing. It's a better version of um, Wild Charge because it does more damage. You take a little bit more recoil, but you have 10% chance to even paralyze it. And you uh, paralyze your opponent, sorry. And you have Wish. So if you want to go uh, Wish and then Volt Switch, I can pass the Wish on to whatever comes in. And it's, 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 a really, it's really cool. Uh, so we also have, I mean, it had, well, Jesus Christ, Dynamic Punch, that's crazy. It has faints. I mean, I don't think I'd ever use that over extreme speed, uh, to be honest, but options there. Um, let's see. Heart Stamp. Uh, let's see. Anything else? Iron Tail, which is nice. Uh, uh, anything else? Anything else? Teeter Dance, that's cool. And Yawn. So, I mean, that's basically it for Raichu, but I mean, fast electric type, Volt Switch, uh, electric immunity. Physical move pull, special move pull. I mean, everything is is it's it's a great mon, great mon. Another thing I drafted was Scolipede, and um, 
Let me just change the nickname on this first. Uh, and I'll talk about Skullpede Raikage. So, um, Skullpede, uh, I, I like Skullpede a lot because it has the ability speed boost. And in this league, the PGL, uh, they are allowing Mons to boost more than just speed. That's uh, the the clause on Showdown where you, you're not allowed to pass, like, for example, like an attack stat uh like if you're using your attack stat like you can't go um swords dance agility and paton pass and then uh do something like that and pass it to another pokemon that is uh that that rule is null here it doesn't it's non-existent so with uh scolipede i can pass speed boost plus swords dances to other pokemon with baton pass and it's coverage that it gets is really nice for you know what it needs i mean obviously it has really nice stabs with um mega horn uh i mean it's a little bit inaccurate but it's super powerful um then we have uh it has poison jab um it has baton pass obviously uh it has the pursuit which is a really nice cause i need i need a reliable pursuit trapper which is something that this is um we have rock slide for for flying types. We have uh, earthquake for steel types. Um, there's a lot of different things that we can go with this. It has superpower too, also for steel types. Swords dance if I want to uh, uh, sweep late game. Toxic spikes for uh, for a lead. Um, let's see. Anything else that I have here that I missed? Iron tail, poison sting, rock climb. Uh, anything else really? I don't think so. Aqua Tail is nice, also, also because it's going to be. It's, uh, there's a chance that it'll be, it'll be used. It'll be used in the rain, so that'll be powered up. Uh, and if we go into its stats, which is what I should have done first, um, it's a, we're going to look at its key stats right here with its um, attack at base 100. Uh, its defense is almost at 90 at 89, and then we have its speed, which is 112, which is um, really fast. So we're uh, another Pokemon that's over base 100. Uh, it's a Mon that resists grass times four. Um, the ability to Paton pass speed boost to things like my Evoltol, uh, to my Gudra, to my Mega Swampert. Uh, it's 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 a beautiful thing, honestly, because this thing can really clean up late game, especially if I go like adamant and like m like max attack. After a speed boost, this thing outspeeds a lot of things. Like it almost, it probably almost outspeeds everything. Um, after a speed boost, and it has the coverage to like hit entire teams almost. After you whittle down a few like a few teams, you can just put this thing in late game and then just clean up with it. Uh, it's it's gonna be really effective this season. I know, cause I mean the the amount the amount of things that I can do with it as far as setting up toxic spikes and paton passing speed to other mons it's gonna do it's gonna do work this season so another the next mon that I drafted oops let me let me go back because I almost fucked that up is milk tank um milk tank it has three really key abilities that are gonna be used often this season and thick fat scrappy and sap sipper so um milk tank I mean, ob honestly, it's uh, it's move. I mean, it's a uh, special attack is booty, and you're gonna see that it has lots of special uh, attack options. But I mean, that's I guess it's better than uh, running like hidden powers. But I mean, I really don't need to. Uh, so what this mon does is it has sap Sipper as well. So it's another um, option to cover uh, Mega Swampert. We also have uh, Thick Fat, so it also resists uh, Ice type moves and fire type moves which is something that my team was pretty weak against like if we go back um to my other team my the first part of my my draft i mean we have um we have ferrothorn we have uh and we have gudra here um which they don't appreciate uh ice and fire type moves and neither does eveltal eveltal doesn't really like ice beams and milk tank here just doesn't care with thick fat and sap sipper could be used as well with you know um if someone wants to use like a leech seed or something i can i can get a, an attack boost and um and another aggressive immunity is always good uh also scrappy i can run it offensive with scrappy and then i can run like body slam 
and even hit uh, ghost types and paralyze those things or um, or hit them with uh, you know super effective uh, moves like let's say it's freaking I don't know a new blade and I just want to run brick break it's gonna it's gonna hit for you know super effective damage because it's scrappy um, also it's a very it's a very nice cleric too. Uh, with you know things like heal bell. I mean, let me let's go over the stats first because I really wanted to do that and I forgot to. All right, look at its HP stat: 95. Its attack is 80. Defense is 105. Special attack is 40. Special defense is 70, which isn't bad. It's not horrible. And then space speed is 100, so it can it can be really fast. So we have um. I mean, we have uh. Let's see, body slam, brick break, double edge, earthquake, facade, fire punch, um. We have Hammer Arm, we have Heal Bell 2, we have Milk Drink, Iron Head, uh, Ice Punch, Milk Drink, I'm not sure if I said that, Power Up Punch, Protect, Rest, Return, Rock Slide, Seismic Toss, Stealth Rock, it's another Stealth Rocker, which is nice, um, it's another T-Wave user, uh, has Zen Headbutt, um, let's see, and we has Counter, I like Counter on Milk Tank too, because it can be really fat, and then it just eats a, a hit, and then it just kills something after that. Dizzy Punch is nice too. Uh, let's see. Anything else that's really calling out to me? Icy Wind is nice. Even though it's, it'd be incredibly weak, it slows down uh, your other mons, the other the other person's mons. Uh, let's see. Uh, Rain Dance too for you know more support. And I think I think that's it. I think that's it. Yeah, that's about it. So moving on to the next uh, the next mon, and that is uh, Typhlosion. Now uh, everyone was kind of like saying that this was a horrible pick, and I agree. I, I, I don't really agree with my pick on this one that much either. But I needed a fire type, and I was thinking about you know times where I'm not going to be bringing the rain, and I really like Typhlosion for that pick because it really synergizes up really well with uh, Ferrothorn. Uh, I mean. Ferrothorn is four times weak to fire, uh, and Typhlosion is immune to fire, and it actually gets a um, a boost. So it's uh, it's fire type attacks do uh, 1.5 times damage if hit by one fire type move. So that's like slapping a uh, a choice specs or a choice band on any of its fire type moves to do like massive damage and you can run like life orb uh, you can run choice scarf you can run choice ban because it has a really nice physical uh, move pool as well like 78 HP uh, 84 attack 78 defense 109 special attack <clears throat> 85 special defense 100 in speed 100 in speed so it's not bad Alright, so yeah, it's physical move pool is nice, um, with Earthquake, uh, I mean, I guess I wouldn't really need Facade, um, it has Wild Charge for Water Types, Extra Sensory is nice on the, uh, special side, Focus Blast is nice too, I mean, it runs, uh, Eruption, which is basically 150 at full health, like 150 base power, it runs Fire Blast, Overheat, Flamethrower, uh, flare Blitz for the physical side. Uh, lava Plume for 30% chance to burn. Uh, overheat is powerful. Power Up Punch is nice if I want to go physical. Uh, quick Attack is nice for priority, I guess. Roar for phasing if I want to do that. Rock Slide. Ow. Shadow Claw. That Thunder Punch. Uh, I already said Wild Charge. Toxic. Um, and, and it's basically saying here the usually loose, uh, useless moves, but I mean, uh, I'm sure there's something here that I could use, uh, maybe, possibly, I don't really know. You're missing the move Dog Slam, because you just got Dog Slam, babe. I did. <laughs> that's not a move. So anyway, yeah, that's basically it for uh, Typhlosion. Uh, and the next pick I had, and this is the last pick of my draft, which was a Zelf. Wasn't it Mushroom? Uh, it actually looks like a Luminati Confirmed Triangle. So anyway, um, Zelf, uh, the thing about Zelf that's really nice is that it's, it's a really great lead because it's, it's especially really fast. Like, if I go to its, st its stats, 
115 uh, speed. So this is the fastest Mon uh, in my draft. Uh, its defenses are pretty shitty. Uh, at base 75 HP, 70 defense and special defense, but its offenses are really nice. Uh, it has potential for, you know, wall breaking. 125 attack and special attack. And the move pull to, like, support it. I can go calm mine, nasty plot. I can go energy ball. I can go explosion with a, um, normal gem. I can go fire blast, fire punch, flamethrower, grass no knockoff, ice punch. I can go... Power up punch. I can go psychic, psy shock. I can go. I can set up screens, re uh, reflect and light screen, uh, shadow ball, signal beam, stealth rock. It's another stealth rocker. Um, I can even go substitute nasty plot. I can go. I can use it as a taunter for other leads that want to set up uh, stealth rocks on me. I can go for. Um, let's see. U turn with this thing. I can go Zen headbutt. Um, there's a lot of different things that I can go with this thing. Uh, it runs. Uh, let's see. What else was was it? There's skill swap too. I mean, if I want to use, some, if I want to do some shenanigans with that, I can do that. Um, I think that's. I think that might be it. I mean, it, basically, what uh, Azelf gives me is lots of coverage, set up, um, set up sweeping potential with nasty plot. Um, and it's a it's a nice lead, really. Real, it's really what it is. I mean, levitate. It's also uh, has lev the ability to levitate, um, which means uh, I can switch out of you know like earthquakes and stuff. I mean, the only other mon that I think uh, like if I go back into the, I only have Eveltal and I have Togetic, which are mm, are oh, immune to ground type attacks. So I mean that gives me another. Uh, you know, ground immunity on the team, so that's nice. Um, I think that's about it for the draft. I actually recorded my draft already, but, I mean, the draft analysis already, but um, my computer crashed in the middle of editing, and it was a really complicated editing process of, you know, just typing in everything, stats, like, across the top of my screen, and I really, I really liked it. Uh, I really liked how the video was turning out, but, I mean... Showdown just makes it a lot easier, and uh, shout out to Powder, uh, Powder for making this beautiful uh, layout for me. Um, and shout out to, um, I, I think they want to go by Kazan Creations for my team logo that you guys can see uh, right in this corner over here, right below me. Um, so yeah, shout out to them for the uh, for the logo. And uh, that's about it. Um, so if you guys made it through this entire video, I do appreciate it. Uh, I hope you guys are rocking with the New York Neuverns for this season, um, and I'm really hyped, so if you guys are hyped, and if you guys uh, want to leave your comments down below what you guys think of my draft, uh, I'd appreciate it, um, that'd, be really, that'd be awesome, that'd be awesome, so I mean, I gotta get out of here, I got stuff to do, uh, but I'll see you guys next time, alright, peace.